the platonic version of philosophy which evolved over the years and finally i think stoics the greek philosophers among them that is uh, did you ever hear about stoicism sir no sir no okay fine just tell me one critical or important difference between the western philosophical concept and the indian philosophy is there any significant difference between the two or are they the same good interesting what would you do to encourage students of mechanical engineering go for mechanical uh, engineering jobs because that's the idea of the college right they want to produce good engineers we have any plans in the mind any change in the curriculum anything we can do iits can do to encourage them to go into the actual field they are meant to go so in the uh a discipline that you know studied in iit that energy and uh, related so how far that would be useful for the uh, countries like india has and it implemented now so with nanotechnology it is possible yes so now as you told conventional energy is uh, is not sustainable energy demand is going up day by day day by day recently we have seen that in telangana the instantaneous demand reached up to some 13800 six something megawatt hours so how this could be this increasing demand balanced when this conventional energy generation is going down see after 91 reforms and after if you see the more privatization more disinvestment and all don't you think the word socialist is irrelevant in preamble if you are appointed as an ias officer in kadappa okay how can you make this this model sustainable because see kadappas you have told that the main major resources mines especially the big stones you get from there how if you are being posted there how can you make that system sustainable because people the, the revenue is you know the revenue what they generating is basically big based upon these resources okay so there is like you can't put a halt to the resource ex- exploitation but you are being appointed as an ios officer what are you going to do there in the environmental sector how india can uh, reduce its dependence on uh, import of palm oil which is impacting the lives of common people a lot yes sir was asking you about interlinking of rivers you are uh, in the proximity of tungabhadra as well as krishna yes sir. isn't it yes sir the land in between these two you share Hmm? yes sir recently in the last regime there was an interlinking of uh, rivers in andhra pradesh which the didan government was claiming that uh, we have designed this project to cater to the needs of the rural civil this india stand very critically on the cli- in the climate change negotiations and the conventions i am not telling about general framework see you are talking about india's like the the pra, the prehistoric like the historical events and what happened in our you know you are comparing with the european and just very precisely give me accurately what is india stand in the climate change conventions and other things in conventions and all negotiations that is what i asked who is bright enough and also having the pedigree of working uh, studying in a place like iit mumbai mumbai also then done is the hub of indian industry yes sir i would have thought that you could have come up with a proposal got incubated in the iit mumbai and then set up an enterprise or something like that instead of seeking this civil service state right now what are the facilities the government schools are providing and why they are not able to attract uh, children towards it ma'am where uh, is lagging what you want to improve in the present government schools what changes you yes, want sir. to pay uh tell me wind energy wind energy in india from which part are you generating most of the wind energy can you give the equation for energy see india and china have started off as independent countries almost at same time but why could china develop so much beyond india what may be the reasons changes you want to see when you want to make in india five major changes <clears throat> making use of the more and more minerals by exploring them and uh, converting into the energy forms and at the same time we are causing the pollution to the environment 
So how this would be sustainable? How, how can you justify that statement? We're talking about <coughs> metals, the import, import of metals. Well, uh, have you heard of polymetallic nodules? Yes, sir. So where do you find them? Don't you think if you see the entire movie industry, it is being controlled, whether theatres or production, everything is being controlled by 10 to 15 families across the country, majorly at 20 to 25 families. So whatever you are saying, employment or opportunities, that platform is not being provided for small movies and creative movies. Only big banner movies are movies which are being promoted by uh, producer sons or heroes sons, whatever. Those movies are being promoted, others are completely sent into the background. In this scenario, don't you think OTT will give an opportunity for creativity to get promoted further and a level playing platform will be provided? I've seen your DAF. You are basically from Kadapa, right? What are the major agriculture crops in Kadapa? All this non-renewable energy and renewable energy, what to share? Uh, what share of renewable and non-renewable energy is being generated in India? Uh, what method are you following to estimate poverty in India? Tell me, is it possible for India to be completely self-reliant without depending on any country? Indian Railway services earlier used to be number of services. Hmm? Yes, sir. Personal service, account service, traffic service. Recently there was a reform in that. In the Gazette notification that was issued by Railway Ministry. Or these services grouped and termed as what? The gas that is being used in air conditioners. You mean that protected agriculture systems like say for example greenhouses, glass houses, that is very 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 much prominent in the agriculture sector in Kadapa. So Prisil is a credit rating agency, right? So what are the other agencies of India? Credit rating agencies. You said that the police to population ratio is low. Yes. So even the doctor to population is ratio is very low. So being the doctor, why are you choosing to be a civil servant instead of big? Uh, you have good medical background, good medical knowledge. So I mean, don't you think you are uh, wasting that particular knowledge by being a civil servant? Tell me which gave triple B rating to India. Triple B rating. And there were many articles in the newspapers about that. So which organization was it? Which agency is it? in terms of public policy what mistake japan has done and the similar mistake is india is doing now and you have taken maths as an optional right yes sir what is the highest award for a mathematician internationally 